All right, let's get back to that announcement about schools, and it's a big one. No in-person classes at public or private schools for another four weeks at least. CBS 4's David Sutta is live in West Miami-Dade with the developing details. And David, this is statewide. Yeah, it's sort of unheard of. In my 20 years of reporting, I really have never seen anything like this, not even from hurricane-devastated communities. It's going to look like school, maybe, but some people would say this actually wouldn't even qualify as school. It's sort of what we have to do right now. But let's not make any mistake about this. This is a less than ideal situation. Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho holding a late-day press conference after the state released sweeping changes for schools statewide. The highlights include the closure of all school campuses through April 15th. School districts are encouraged to individually set up virtual classrooms to operate online. At the same time, the state has asked school districts to be prepared to extend the school year through June. All tests, including Florida statewide assessment, the FSA, are now canceled. No grades will be assessed for the school year. And finally, parents will be the person to choose whether the child graduates or repeats the grade that they're in. We have entered unchar uncharted waters. Let's navigate these uncharted waters uh, with patience, uh, with respect, with compassion and understanding. We will be with you every step of the way. Carvalho admits the challenges are numerous, but the digital classroom is their best shot at some sort of normalcy. By definition, emergencies and crises are disruptive. They're inconvenient, uh, but the alternative is not acceptable. Miami-Dade has handed out 52,000 devices to get students online. Broward is rolling out a similar program Friday. While unsaid, there is an expectation the campus closures could go beyond April. If I were to project at this point whether or not we're going to have standard graduation ceremonies, my take is probably not. The same goes for colleges and universities. Public and private campuses are closed for the rest of the spring semester. They may operate online, and like schools, their semester may extend through June. Very unusual times, trying times, I'm sure, for parents over the next few weeks. We expect to get more guidance from Miami-Dade and Broward County tomorrow. We're being told that parents should expect something in their email and also on social media. We're live in West Miami-Dade. David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight.